Hello everybody and welcome to Objects of Robert. Or perhaps this weekend it should just be called Objects. Uh, yesterday was Bill Rieflin's birthday. Now, Bill was a member of The Humans, my, my Seattle-based band. He was the drummer in R.E.M. And he's not with us anymore. But I want to show you something that just celebrates him. So yesterday in Seattle, Bill's ashes were scattered at his father-in-law's home, which is in the Puget Sound on a beautiful island that Robert and I visited with Frankie and Bill. And just knowing that his ashes have gone there and his wife's ashes have gone there is such a beautiful thought. I couldn't be there because I'm on the road, I'm touring, and yesterday I, I played the cheese and grain in Froome, which was just astonishing. But just knowing that the family are still very much there, active, connected, and so many people were invited to the island to be there for this ceremony and this celebration of Bill's life. A lot of the guitar craft community were invited as well. But Bill's very, very wonderful sister, who we're very close to, and she lives in the UK, which is fantastic, um, was in contact with us uh, just after Bill passed, and she sent us a package. And she said she bought this on a trip in Europe for Bill. She fell in love with it. It was in a market. It's intricate. It's very detailed. And she gave it to Bill at a time when he knew his timeline and was giving everything away. Now, we know this because Bill was giving us things that he really, really treasured. Um, I'm going to show you one of them. We've talked about it many, many times. But Bill made a visit to us here in the kitchen. He was staying with us for about two weeks and he suddenly gave us this. And this is one of Frankie Sunderstone's best pieces of work. And it's a cover of an album that Bill did with my husband, Robert Fripp. And Robert and I were so surprised that he gave us this because we knew how precious it was to him. And only in hindsight, we realised that Bill was sharing his life with us and giving us things that he treasured in his life. And we're still finding stuff hidden around the house that he left here. It was, it's just such a, a beautiful experience that his physical presence is reaching into the future and touching us today. So when Bill's sister gave him this present, Bill being Bill, he was always so honest, said, I don't want it. I don't want possessions. I'm getting rid of my possessions. I'm getting rid of my life. Basically freeing himself up to fly away and move on to the next, uh, the next kind of part of his existence. So it's a grasshopper orchestra which Bill's sister then gave to us, and we love it. We love it. Now, in recent days, we've had a mouse in the house who's managing to tiptoe around all of these very beautiful, beautiful kind of independently made pieces and eat our fruit out of the fruit bowl. And the fruit bowl is next to Bill. And we cannot work out how the mouse is getting into the fruit bowl without knocking any of these over or, or reorganizing them or knocking over any of the angels because we have angels surrounding Bill's model here. And it's like this tiny little miracle is going on inside the house, which I love observing that this mouse is somehow... <laughs> parachuting into the fruit bowl and not rearranging this whole orchestra. So we've got every member of the orchestra and Bill's sister fell in love with this in the market when she was having um, a vacation somewhere in um, Eastern Europe. It's just so beautiful. But Bill said to her that he's getting rid at the time of all his possessions, all the clutter in his house. So Bill's sister, realizing how we would always want connections to Bill, gave them these to us uh, just under two years ago after Bill flew away. And the details are fantastic. 
You've got music manuscripts and everything. And every day in our kitchen, we look at this and we, we laugh. Every day in our kitchen, we look at this. And not only do we love it because of what it is and how beautifully it's made and the sense of humour of it, but we look at it and we smile and we laugh because of what Bill said. I mean, Bill could just say the most direct things. And I mean, once you knew him, you could forgive him. But otherwise, you know, he could absolutely devastate you. And this is a really beautiful and fond memory of Bill from his sister. And it was his birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, beautiful Bill. Now, there was one other thing that I was going to talk to you about. I'm just going to put this down where I cannot cause it any damage. Um, I was going to talk to you about my husband's socks because he's not here, but he is home in under two weeks. We're going to be back to normal by the um, 11th, 13th, by the 12th of um, October, broadcasting as normal. So he loves space socks. So I thought I'd go up to his sock drawer and just see what I could get out of his sock drawer to just talk to you about how we get hold of these planetary socks. And then I opened his wardrobe and his sock drawer and there were six drawers full of these socks. So I thought, okay, I'll give that one a miss. <laughs> I didn't realise there were so many. So I'm going to talk to you about man jewellery. Now, I started to give Robert very, very special cufflinks about just before lockdown, probably about four or five years ago, and he's fallen in love with them. Now, Robert, up until a point, didn't like anything decorative, but I love man jewellery. I absolutely adore when Harry Styles is wearing a pearl necklace and a brooch and earrings and bracelets. I love it. I, why shouldn't men wear jewellery? So... Last Christmas, I got Robert a unicorn brooch, which he's not worn yet. But one of the first sets of cufflinks I got him, I believe, was these ladybirds. And then he realised the quality of how things were being made these days. So he, he got bees. He got skulls. Um, he got the Welsh crocus. Let's see if I can open another one without everything falling out. It, my husband also really likes organising things. So I'm just going to take those out and hope that nothing falls out. So I like to get him things with crowns on. These are not expensive items. You can just Google crown cufflinks and find them. But also the eyes. And what I love about this is because the King Crimson... Um, kind of logo picture is a cyclops. I increasingly find things with eyes on that I can buy him. So he gets these at Christmas. I mean, look at that. Two, two pairs of eyes. I mean, how brilliant is that? And I love those ones. Those ones are just amazing. Absolutely brilliant. So I love man jewellery. I absolutely adore it. I think it's a form of expression that every man should be free to have. It's absolutely adorable. And I hope that we're going to see more of it as time goes on. So thank you so much for watching this. Tomorrow we have one of our favouritest ever Sunday lunches. Um, we made it about a month ago and when Chesney Hawks appeared in our hometown, we had every girl on the street knocking on the door saying how lovely he is because he stayed locally three doors down in a hotel. And these wonderful women were coming up to us saying, oh, Chesney is so lovely. Can he come back? So tomorrow is one of our favouritest ever Sunday lunches. It's just silly. It's great fun. So enjoy. And also, everyone, thank you for coming to the Anthem Tour. There's plenty more to come. And now we've got the Billy Idol Arena Tour as well. It's getting fabulously busy. See you soon. Lots of love from Toya.